Hi, I'm Emil, the practical engineer, and today I'm making this mechanical nutcracker. So here's the 2D drawing of the nutcracker that I'm gonna make. And it has basically two main parts. One of them is the handle, which you use to put the plunger up. When you push the handle, the plunger moves up, putting tension on the springs that will be here. And when it's all the way up, the idea is that the handle releases the plunger and then it smashes down with the spring force on the nut, smashing the nut. So, let's start with this plunger. from the lathe done. This is the base part of the plunger and this is the bottom part of the plunger. I will screw them onto each other like this. I did it from two separate pieces because it saves a bit of material not having to make all of it from this size rod and also it helps me with the assembly later. On this plunger there I will put this, this spring like this and this spring will be used to smash the plunger down on the nut. Also for the nut I made this really nice little table where you can put it on and then the plunger hits it. I'm gonna assemble the plunger and then I can make the wooden parts that hold the plunger and that will be the lever and everything. going to be the standing piece of the nutcracker and these small pieces this one and the other one I have over there are going to be the guides that hold the plunger because of the springs in between there's going to be quite some force on this so I'm going to put some dowels in between so first step drill some holes in here mark them over here so I can mount this with some glue and some dowels just before I start to glue it up but in this case I need to drill big holes in here and in here and since the blocks are very small there's a chance that the dowel will be in the place where the hole is so when I put the dowel in first I'll just drill through the dowel as well and it won't be a problem This standing piece of the nutcracker is also going to be the hinge for the lever. So on the top here I need to drill a big hole where I can make a hinging point. Next step I'm going to glue the plunger holders onto the base piece. I need to do some work on this still but I want to give these pieces the maximum amount of drying time possible before I start putting any forces on them. So I'm gonna glue them now and they have maximum time. Okay. 
glue is dried, so let's do a little test to see if it works with the plunger. So now I know the plunger works. I still have to test it with the walnut, but it works like this. There are three more pieces to make for the main part. That's the base I'm gonna make with this piece. Make, I'm gonna make a big lever. And the lever is connected to a little hook that pulls the plunger up behind this edge. So I'm gonna start with the lever and when the lever is done, I can work on the hook. Then I can test if it works and tweak it to get the hook to work. The idea is that the hook pulls this up and then when it's up it releases it so it smashes down on the walnut. Parts I've made until now are all the functional parts. So the lever, the base, the plunger, and also the hook that I just made. And I'm not gonna make them pretty yet because I first want to test it. So let's test it. Mount this and then we can see if it works. So the idea is that the lever stays like this and the plunger stays like this. And when you push the lever up, this will grab behind the plunger which almost works <laughs> like this. It will, there will be a spring here. And then when you pull it up, it should release. So there's a little tweaking needed. Plunger on the hook. Hmm, that worked. So now I know the functional parts all work. I'm gonna take it apart and I can send these parts. And also I'm gonna make a base for it so that it can stand and you don't have to hold it. This is the horizontal base piece and I'm drilling a big hole in it to mount this piece. But I'm also using this hole to mount the plunger when it's all glued up to put it through. So there's kind of two functions and this hides that. On this part it's a bit easier because the back side is hidden. So I can just drill the dowel holes all the way through. Put some glue here, put the dowels in and then assemble it. Normally the lever doesn't really want to pull that way, which is logical. But I wanted to pull that way because then it grabs the, the... I wanted to pull this way because then it grabs the plunger. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a spring over here and over here. 
so it always pulls this way and thus grabs the yeah, like that then also I think I'm gonna put a spring over here and over here so the lever will stay down in its natural position So, here's how it works. You have the big lever over here, and when you pull the lever, you pull the plunger up. That works by this little hook that hooks behind this edge. And when it's all the way at the top, it releases. This pushes it off. you'll probably like this video over here as well check out my patreon page over there and don't forget dare to experiment and have fun creating see you in the next video